The Uganda State of Oil and Gas Sector feature is brought to you by Accord in partnership with Cisco and NTV. Despite great energy potential, Africa remains energy poor with about 600 million people on the continent having no access to electricity. In Uganda, despite the enormous potential for hydroelectric power, only 42% of the population has access to electricity. Even then, many of those with electricity use it mostly for lighting and powering appliances that are not power intensive. And up to 80% of Ugandans use firewood and charcoal for cooking, a factor that is driving up deforestation in the country. While there are growing calls from leading international institutions for a shift from hydrocarbons, a number of African countries, including Uganda, are promoting investments in oil and gas as a path to economic development. How then does this fit in with plans for a just energy transition? We are basically referring to movements from dependence on fossil fuels and replacing that with uh, renewable energy. Now, for us to do that, and I know there's been push for governments to leapfrog, but we are saying that that will be a gradual process for many reasons. You have a, a, a population, 80% of your population depending on rudimentary biomass. So before you even say they are going renewable, you have to look at the practicality of that. Experts argue that the debate on energy transition needs to take into account the different levels of energy access. So when you just say energy transition, we tend to ask our questions, transit from what, where we have not been even. So this brought in the concept of just and fair energy transition. And the, 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 this in its own interpretation means that you are going to facilitate energy transition that takes into consideration local and domestic perspectives so that everyone is able to walk in those steps following a certain process. The National Environment Management Authority argues that Uganda is actually at the forefront of promoting the use of clean energy. We are leading the entire continent and perhaps very many other countries in immobility. So we are phasing out the use of fossil fuels in the public transport, as you know. We are leading the continent in the production of emission-free vehicles. You've heard about Kayora bus. Goal 7 of the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals emphasizes the need for countries to ensure access to affordable, reliable, sustainable and modern energy. Uganda has great renewable energy potential that can be tapped to ensure increased energy access. Solar is a, a free gift from God. Uh, the insulation we have in Uganda is great, is enough to, to make sure that we are able to get the energy we need. That's one of the clear-cut alternatives that we can use instead of um, resorting to fossils like coal, like oil, like, like gas. You've also heard about our quest to develop very many hydropower dams. Hydropower is one of the cleaner energies. But what are some of the hurdles to the adoption of these cleaner energy sources? Achieve just energy transition, it requires that we have affordable financing. But you know the financing model has been mainly for private sector. The, 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 the financing of, um, of uh, clean energy alternatives like electricity, like solar, is mainly by private sector. And you know that private sector is driven one by one important point, profit. But notably, you know that uh, we are lacking a renewable energy law. We have the policies, yes, in place, even the, much as the policy is outdated, but the law on renewable energy is not there. One of the recommendations to government is to ensure it utilizes oil revenues to finance clean energy and scale up energy access among the population, which will be useful for the energy transition. The way to go is to exploit our oil and gas resources, sell and make money, so that the money we get from the fossil fuels is able to facilitate and, and help us to acquire the greener alternative technologies. We cannot just wake up and say, 
fossil fuels have gone no fossil fuels will have to be phased out in a just transition process which uganda is happily leading on this continent in our view we must utilize all our available resources be it petroleum or other renewables we must develop economically and for us to develop we must tap into our natural resources so the revenues that will accrue from the petroleum industry will go a long way to fund what we are terming as the just energy transition we need a significant financing to develop these renewables so the government has to mobilize all the financing arrangements in terms of options including petroleum to be able to fund that just transition. Although the concept of a just transition has gained more traction in recent years, there seems to be a no one size fits all solution for Africa. As such, experts are arguing that Uganda ought to be free to make its own decisions and set its own course toward the energy transition. Benjamin Jumbe, NTV. The Uganda State of Oil and Gas Sector Future is brought to you by Accord in partnership with Cisco and NTV.